Well, hello and welcome to The Spirit Safe. My name's Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Not sure how I got as far as November without reviewing a bourbon whiskey. I've reviewed uh, a Mexican whiskey, I've reviewed a, uh, a Latvian whiskey, but not a bourbon. So I thought I'd pull out a relatively big gun for you. Uh, it is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Barrel Strength Bourbon. Bottled at 58.4% ABV, uh, which is 116.8 proof. It makes quite a big deal of saying it's a number four char. Um, doesn't tell you on the, the label the um, mash bill, which I gather is 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% barley. Um, Kentucky straight bourbon, and apparently it's a vatting of 6, 8, and 12-year-old bourbons. Uh, and I got this for the surprisingly good price of $43.99 Canadian. Uh, that was a discounted price out of Alberta, not available in BC at the moment. I think it was at one point. Its usual uh, price in Alberta is around 60 Canadian, which is still pretty good for, you know, vatting of 6, 8 and 12 year old uh, bourbon at barrel strength. Uh, that's not a sourced bourbon. Um, so, yeah, pretty good uh, price for this. Uh, quite nice packaging, slightly dumpy bottle, doesn't come in a carton or anything. Nice big stopper at the top, and then it's just a, quite a skinny little cork there. You sort of feel like it needs a, uh, a wide cork uh, for that uh, stopper, but it's still quite attractively put together. Nice dark colour. Obviously, it's new barrels and it's number four char. Hmm. So on the nose, I say it's clean, but there's an interesting sort of complexity. There is the, the usual bourbon notes, but I thought that there was a fruitiness that was a bit more prominent than I expected. You know, raspberry, blackberry, and sort of cherry pie notes are, are quite prominent here. But there's some honey, sweet cherry, menthol, cherry menthol, glacé cherries, butterscotch, vanilla, black licorice, Kind of lemon candy like lemon sherbets, uh, breath mint, sort of fish on the fisherman's friend end of the breath mint scale, so very minty. Some iced tea, quite a bit of menthol going on here. Um, key lime, oak, tobacco. Hide oats, raspberry coulis and anise. And yes, an alcohol note, uh, 58%. Yeah, pretty classic. It's kind of a, there's the butterscotch end and then there's uh, a bit of uh, fruit and then some kind of menthols going on. Tobacco and honey. Palette's pretty well at full strength. It's kind of spicy and sour, lovely sour kind of lemon notes and sour cherry, lemon juice, honey, herbal notes, manuka honey, buttercup syrup, which is a very old fashioned cough syrup, oak, and a bit of nutmeg. oak starting to come out a bit more on the nose. So let's give it a good teaspoonful of water. Hmm, brought out a nice 
OT note there. A nice bit of rye, some sweet lemon, pomelo, sweet floral notes, rye bread, maple syrup, manuka honey, menthol. There's a little bit of cream, maybe like a, a Bailey's Irish cream liqueur. Candied pecans, sort of mixed roasted nuts. Lots of spice, lots of cinnamon, maybe some nutmeg, toasted oak. And the rye spice is starting to come through with a, just a bit of menthol behind it. Which is very nice and then just cut with a bit of citrus and oak. Palette with a bit of water, lovely sourness, citrus, some dryness as it moves on to the finish. Candied grapefruit, a nice cough syrup note, a bit of menthol, a bit of wintergreen. Hmm. And it's a pretty decent finish as well, slightly oily. Some pimento and cayenne pepper give it just a little bit of a, a kick. Nice spicy oak, sweet strawberry, tobacco, cocoa, Thai chili, and cough candy, menthol. Hmm. So looking at this at maybe 60 Canadian as a barrel strength bourbon, and then looking at something like the Booker's, which is over 100, um, I think my my vote goes with this. I think this is very well priced for what it is. I, I, I don't know whether it has a big range of flavours. Uh, I'm not a big bourbon person, this being the first one I've reviewed this year, it being November. Um, but it's not a sourced bourbon. It, it's from the Wild Turkey Distillery. It's, an, it's a, um, a known brand from a particular distillery, not, not a sourced thing. And for this to be available for as little as 40 odd Canadian at barrel strength, I think is pretty good. Um, interested to know what you think, people who are really into their bourbons, whether this is, a, as I think, a particularly good and good value uh, bourbon, but I, I don't know them that well. That's just my uh, assessment. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think of this and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Goodbye.